Good morning, everyone. I'm Timothy Go, And I'm Suzanne Jung. Welcome to the show. It is midweek now, Suzanne, Wednesday, the yes, 10th it is. of September. So hang on there because uh, Friday is just coming. <laughs> <laughs> Two more days to Friday. Well, President Bush's war games aside, we've also got uh, games of a different sort, the type you play on the internet. Yep, we look at video games of today that are nothing like Pac-Man or Donkey Kong. And some of you might know what I'm talking about. It's a booming industry and we will check out the size of it at 8.20 on Tech Talk. Well, time to have fun now here on Primetime Morning, Suzanne. Yes. And do, uh, does anyone of you recall the name Atari way back in the late 70s or video games like Pac-Man? No idea. Oh, that I know. <laughs> Space Invaders, Donkey Kong. Well, I do. I used to play Space Invaders myself. I don't know. Maybe I was too young. Well, anyway, those were the early days of video games, but it's become so much better now and visually appetizing these days. Now, uh, those of you who play games will know what I'm talking about. The graphics today are great, the music is impressive, and the games themselves are so realistic, you feel you're watching a movie. Well, in fact, some of them have uh, actually spun off to becoming big blockbuster movies, Tomb Raider, Matrix. Mm -hmm. Well, the video game is now a major industry in itself. It's been called the single largest entertainment industry with sales surpassing movies, home videos and theater. Well, so big, it's so big in scope, we decided to take a look at them this morning That's and uh, right. find out why. Miguel Bernas, our internet expert, is in with us this yes. morning, fresh out of a flight. Mm -hmm. and looking like Batman. <laughs> Good morning. I prefer the I prefer the superhero named Gadget Boy. Gadget Ga Boy. There you <laughs> go. Right. He's got a You'll name for himself. You'll be Gadget Boy today. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miguel, the uh, internet gaming is so big now. Um, movies, all of that. Is this a trend? Well, movies and, and video games have been linked for a long time, uh, pretty much as long as I can remember playing video games. I think... Um, because you've got a lot of synergy with the audiences of action movies and video games, you know, it makes a lot of logical sense. But I think really what's really, going, what's really changed the video game industry a lot in the last uh, year or so has been the internet. Mm. Well, before there was Nintendos and that's all I remember, but now it's changed so much. It's growing at such a fast pace. Well, did you imagine that we'll be at this stage 10 years ago? Uh, no, actually. I don't think anybody did. <laughs> um, uh, it was. It started out pretty much as a hobby to be, you know, played among like. What's the fascination? Why do people take it up so fast? Well, uh, there's really a lot of there are really a lot of aspects to it. Um, I think one of the biggest things today is the fact that you can play a game with anybody in the world at any time, mm. and just being able to participate in this huge global community of of players like yourself is really where the appeal is. So this phenomenon is just because of the internet that we can start playing games with other people from the other side of the world. Yeah, I mean the gaming industry has been around uh, for some time, um, but today it's grown to become a ten billion dollar industry, uh, where some of the biggest players are are doing at about two and a half billion dollars in terms of revenue, which makes them, you know, bigger than many traditional media companies. Mm -hmm. um, so clearly the appeal is very very strong. Um, what the internet has brought today is it's taken the old sort of single player experience of you sitting there playing against a computer, but multiplied that by like 10,000 fold. Mm -hmm. wow. Because instead of just playing against uh, a computer or even playing against um, somebody in front of you or a guy in the next room, you can now play with up to between four and 10,000 people at the same time. And all across the world. And all across and the world. What are the demographics like? Who are these people? Uh, I have an interesting story about that. I remember a friend of mine uh, was telling me about her son and she was very worried because she said, um, I found out that my son was playing this online game. And how old is his son? Uh, Twelve. Oh. And, he, she, and she said, she was, he was playing with this 35-year-old man. <laughs> and, and, and saying, what kind of man plays a game with a 12-year-old boy? <laughs> and, I, and I sat there and I said, uh, are you sure that wasn't me? <laughs> 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 now we know your age, all right? Well, hey, I think it's better for uh, little kids to play with internet games than surf other uh, porn or porn websites or something like that. Well, online, yeah, you know, well, yeah. I mean, the, it really is. It really is very catchy, and you know, the barriers to getting into gaming mm -hmm. uh, are fast disappearing. Mm -hmm. It used to be that you had to buy a game in a box. Right. Let's get into the fun side and talk about which are the games that are making the. 
Uh, for me, one of the games that I'm there, there's a couple of titles that I'm I'm very excited about. Mm -hmm. um, they go from a range of very uh -huh. very simple games. Like if you go on Yahoo Games, you can play backgammon or poker with somebody, uh -huh. or Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Right. All the way to like very complex, massively multiplayer online role playing games or MMORPGs. As I remember when I was um, just one mm -hmm. question that uh, uh, the uh, letters that you brought up there. What are they? Well, multiplayer games have, have been around, uh, it's a fairly recent thing, development in the industry um, in just the last, uh, you know, w within the last five years. What's changed because of the internet is uh, another dimension called massively multiplayer online gaming. That means instead of just playing with between two and four people, you can play with up to 10,000 people within the same gaming environment. Mm -hmm. So this is MMOG that you're referring yes. to? Yes, and there are games, for example, there are, there are titles in China. On one title alone, you can have as many as 750,000 concurrent players. That means 750,000 people playing the same game at the same time. Mm -hmm. And what, how, how do they do that? Do they take on different roles in, in Yeah, essentially game? what it is is the, they're role-playing games, so essentially you create a character, you pick what the character looks like, and you, the longer you play the game, the more powerful your character gets, mm -hmm. the more skills he acquires, the more right. weapons he gets, etc. I remember when I was in college back in Korea, every student Every male student, that is, the females were not into uh, computer gaming, <laughs> but every guy was hooked to the computer playing StarCraft. That yes, is the name yes. that I recall. StarCraft was actually one of the uh, earlier breakthrough games in, right. in multiplayer online gaming. Uh, the recent title out of that same batch is, mm -hmm. of course, called Warcraft. Well, but the amazing thing is now we have companies that are consulting companies for these gamers, and we also have some of them turning professional, and it's become their job there, there in their life. There are computer life. studies I mean, or... or uh, uh, computer video game studies in exactly. universities now. I think. Yes, uh, that's true. I mean, if it's a $10 billion industry, that kind of makes sense. And at the rate uh, everything is growing right now, um, in China they predict that the industry will grow 115% year on year, and it'll be a billion dollar industry by mm -hmm. 2006. Right. So how about high stakes. Okay, how about the future of video games? What, what do you see in the next two, three years? I think there's a, there's a couple of trends. One is that you're going to see uh, multiplayer online gaming move to a wireless platform. Mm -hmm. Players have, like Nokia have already started this, um, which means you can literally play anywhere at any time and no longer have to be connected to a wire in order mm -hmm. to play with somebody mm -hmm. else. I think the other trend is that you're going to see more and more uh, games out of Asia. Mm -hmm. um, online gaming is predominantly right now an American mm -hmm. thing, right. uh, with all the big players being out of the U.S. But Japan mm -hmm. and China are growing markets. Uh, Japan is, uh, has, is a very big player, and now Korea and China are emerging right. as very, very big players. Wow, well, okay. Uh, with titles like Ragnarok and things like that. All right, Quite so Asia is taking the wave with uh, web games. Just Computer like games. in every other industry, Suzanne. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining <laughs> us this morning, Miguel. Thank you. That is through Asian Eyes for now. Coming up next, a weather report and then a primetime morning Asia Today with Suzanne Jung and the latest in the uh, developments out in the Middle East. But as for me, I'll be back in an hour on the first edition of The World Today. I'll see you then.